Bruh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Epic Future Space. So 2013 has gotten off to an awesome start. NASA and Bigelow Aerospace have signed an agreement to put a Bigelow module onto the International Space Station. Back in 2006 and 2007, respectively, Bigelow Aerospace launched their Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 modules into space via Russian rockets. And they did several developments on several other follow-on programs with that. The one that was right after Genesis was going to be their Galaxy module. And they canceled their plans of launching the Galaxy module into space in favor of using that as a test bed here on Earth for their life support systems, the electrical systems, and just all the different logistics they would need to, to make the module work for people once it is in space. Ever since January of 2011, Lori Garver, the Deputy Administrator at NASA, and Robert Bigelow, the CEO of Bigelow Aerospace, have been talking about trying to put a module onto the International Space Station. Several meetings have taken place, several technical design reviews, and finally, they have come to an agreement. Bigelow Aerospace is converting the Grounded Galaxy module into a spaceflight-ready hardware system to be able to be attached to one of the nodes on the International Space Station. Bigelow Aerospace and NASA are treating the Galaxy module as a new module entirely, and they're calling it the BEAM module, which stands for the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module. Several different ideas and proposals for which node the BEAM module could be attached to have surfaced, but no official announcement has come out yet. However, on January 16th, we're going to be hearing the official announcement from Lori Garver and Robert Bigelow, and we'll probably find out a lot more information now, if not confirm which module it will officially be attached to. As for the purpose of the module, NASA has considered using it as a storage facility similar to the Japanese logistics module that's attached on top of the Kibo module. It would be certified to be on orbit for two years and would have to be moved or replaced eventually to make room for the commercial crew vehicles that would be arriving at the station in the next several years. Bigelow Aerospace has been working on inflatable modules ever since 1998, and you can find out more about their developments right here. I'm really excited about this announcement and I cannot wait until Wednesday to find out more information about which node it's going to be docked to and just how everything is going to proceed over the next few years for this project to happen. Congratulations to everyone over at Bigelow Aerospace and NASA who were able to get through the negotiations and make this project happen. We need a lot more cool developments like this to be taking place and 2013 is already looking to be a very great year for space and this is just the first of many great things that are going to be happening this year. So I'm really looking forward to getting more information on Wednesday and until then I will see you guys later and don't forget, Ad Astra to the stars.